Welcome back to Friday Night Frenzy. Adina, do you know what time it is? I think I do, Carissa. It is time for some nine-man gridiron action. Some big matchups tonight. Two undefeated teams, Ray Powers Lake and Surrey. Only one will remain undefeated. Mustangs are on the one-yard line. Ryan Sheehy keeps the ball and muscles it in for the touchdown. Surrey up 6-0. to zero. Mustangs would go for two. Shingi again with the handoff. He goes to William Webb this time, breaks a couple tackles, and he gets into the end zone. Surrey would be up 8-0 to zero after that um, two-point conversion. Very next possession for the Outlaws. Jace Nelson with the catch, breaks some tackles, and gets to the outside before he turns on those Jets to get into the end zone. Outlaws would also go for two. Tyler Lindstrom with the pass to Tyson Ingott for the score, and the game is tied at eight apiece. Ray Powers would hold off Surrey to win 40 to 38. The New Salem Almont Holsteins head to Elgin to face the Grant County Flasher Storm. In the battle on the prairie, the Storm's Jace Freeze with the Holsteins defense closing in passes to Trey Hyde, who marches right up the side and grabs the first down. After the turnover, the Holsteins quarterback Ethan Mayer spots Dylan Rude wide open, passes, and it's caught but promptly shut down by the Storm's defense. In the second quarter, things really started to take off. Ethan Mayer passes to Dylan Rude downfield, narrowly grabbing the ball, a first down and major, major advantage for the Holsteins offense. The Storm fights back as free spots Layton Woodbury ready to receive. Woodbury runs it right up the middle, dodging Kane Grinsteiner and grabbing the first down. New Salem Almont wins on the road 22-12. Let's go to Kidder County now, a playoff rematch for the Wolves hosting the Beach Buccaneers. This one is scoreless until the fourth. It's Kidder County Wyatt Miller who breaks the tie with a short run into the end zone, 6-0 Wolves. Kidder County with the chance to put the game away late in the fourth, but the Bucks would now have new life after a Wolves fumble. Last chance for the Beach, for Beach looking deep on fourth and 12. Uh, the middle pass across the middle falls incomplete and results in a turnover. After the, as the Wolves escape 6-0 for the win. Another matchup of undefeated teams, Hedinger Scranton hosting Central McLean. The Nighthawks punting in the first quarter. It's muffed at the 30-yard line, and Cade Warbus is there for the recovery for Hedinger Scranton. And the Nighthawks take advantage. A short drive is capped off by Tristan Pikas, punching it on third down to make it 6-0. But Central McLean working to respond before the half. Jarrett Troy, Troyna hauls in a big pass down the middle for the Cougars, and they move it easily from there. It's Easton Fry taking it, taking it from 15 yards out to tie the game at six with just a minute to go before the half, but Hedinger Scranton wins at home 20 to 14. And that's going to wrap things up for highlights tonight, but keep it here for a takeaway, takeaway from week one and the previews for next week's show. But first, a look at scores from around the region.